Good afternoon everybody, it's a Cockney Colonel here. A little bit ahead of ourselves this week, which is cool. We've still got a little bit of finishing up to do. This uh, preview is for the auction on Tuesday, September the 22nd. Four o'clock preview, five o'clock start as usual. Although watch this space because we may be bringing the time forward a little bit. Just got so much stuff, we might have to move out to the barn. Clear some of that stuff out, but more news of that to follow. Right, it's going to take a little while to get around here because we have got so much stuff again. It's crazy. So let's jump right in. Now, this Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus poster, right? Guy brought it in, says, here, lady I got this off. She was 103. 103 years old. So it's probably uh, pretty old, right? I could say something else, so I shouldn't say that. Anyway, it's pretty, pretty old, right? It's really old. And then some old thing there and all, right? Look at that little baby doing 666 Carol. How about this geezer, right? There's an old photo album, right? Mick Jagger and all this sort of stuff. Woman apparently was an intern at some local radio station. So she got all these pictures that nobody's ever seen. And as the man very kindly wrote out and pointed out, can't get no satisfaction. It's old Mickey Jagger, isn't it? Mick Jagger, the old lips. Couple of old little motor cars there. They look kind of cool. Some old black and white photos of some music people or something. And bellboy bulletin, bulletin letter with some little picture of some bellboy geezer. So that looks pretty cool. Nice little horse. Everybody loves an horse, don't they? Right, we've got a couple of things we're going to be doing different this week with a timeline. So make sure you check the websites, all right, and see the new timeline that we're going to do. So if there's certain things you want to come for, trying to give you an idea of when to turn up so that you haven't got to wait around for hours on end to see stuff. Here, yeah, look at this old country cottage stuff, right, from England, right? Must be pucker, because it's from England, right? So it's got to be the nuts, isn't it, you know? It's old stuff, right? So that's kind of nice. Little set there, the old country kitchen stuff. A little tiny atom motor with variable speed power applicator, right? And a chalkware chief, whatever that is. But that's that little geezer there, it's a chalkware chief. A little celluloid, little another England, uh, Indian little fella in there, right? And his little boat, he's having fun, isn't he? And then there's little wigwams, right? Little wigwams from the Indian Tourist Crafts, Cherokee, right? The Kayla Reservation, North Carolina, apparently. All right, marvelous, lovely jubbly. Right, and then we've got some of the old consigners set out his stuff, really nice. Some of the old stuff. Yeah, look at this, it's quite cool. It's a soldier's manual of common tasks, but it's only for skill level one, all right? But I don't look through, looks quite complicated. So I want to know where the rest of the skill level went. Probably going like, you know, into like SAS and stuff like that that we have in England, like your Marines. Right, some more sort of this little lotted up stuff. Salt and pepper, you need a salt and pepper shaker? Come down, right, get it. Got loads of them, right, boxes of them. So, buy them. Like birds? Got some birds painted onto plates, right? Pheasants and all sorts of palaver going on there. So come and buy your plates. How about this thing, right? So this was one of those things that a chemist used to put in the front window of the pharmacy, right? Look at those scales. Oh, I love them. I think they're going to be really popular, right? We've still got a lot of this stuff up, but this is some of the old antique kind of chemist stuff. All right, okay, so we'll put this into a lot, all the old bottles and Johnson's old stuff and, you know, actual glass bottle baby oil rather than all that plastic rubbish that goes on these days. All right, some Ford Foundation cars from Michigan, little sort of um, slides of the old Ford cars, they're pretty cool. Looks like some sort of, um, I don't know what that is, you know, like writing stuff, pencils and stuff like that. This thing is made by Mildred B. Ramey, apparently. She's a 1949, right? She's a master potter. All right, so she made that and it's signed, apparently. There's some geezer called um, Mr. Daniels back there. Robbie did tell me who he was. He was somebody junior earlier, but I can't remember. Some geezer. Um, some weird looking thing there, which is, uh, I'm sure, going to be popular because things like that normally are. Here, look at this 38,200 BTU, right? Patio eater. All right, look at that, marvellous. Stick the old propane tank in the bottom, right? Warm you up, just as the weather's turning. Perfect timing by the consigner, bringing that in for this time of year. Got a dog, got a courtyard villa. Here, this thing, right? This goes in the patio door, right? So that your doggy, right? And this is for a large one, so that's a good size. Large or little will do. All right, but it goes in the patio doors. Just slide across, you know, your French doors, right? So that your dog can come in and out with after you happen to get up and down all the time, let the thing in and out. Right, so that's rather cool, isn't it? 
Looks like it's new in the box as well, that is. Rather unusual little towel rail thing there. All right, so that'll be kind of cool. Some more stuff that the guys brought in, some more of those Bon Chef um, plates. Congress. What's this? this? This is the declaration, I think. 1776, July the 4th. So that's probably your old um, declaration of independence or whatever it is. All right? I don't think it's the original, but it kind of looks like it could have been the original because it's like, like somebody's rubbed teal over it or something. You know when they want to make things look old? But this looks old, right? But I doubt if it's the original, you know, declaration of independence. Probably not. Kind of cool little... Uh, wall uh, you know little coat hanger thing there with a mirror in the middle so that's quite cool some little uh, remote controlly things for games all right some uh, california dreaming things all right some pencil sharpeners in there boxes of them little uh, wwf wrestling geezers there's that i didn't even get to it last week the old case for your rifle your gun or whatever you know so as i say i know you all got them but this thing this is like a case to put them all in all right so that's rather cool this is cool as well, right? So swipe credit cards, and that's where they sign. All right, so that's kind of cool if you need that. Yeah, this little thing here, right? It's a starter wiring kit for a doll's ass, apparently. All right, so if you've got a doll's ass, you know, if you're the person that bought that doll's ass from us the other week, you might want the little starter wiring kit to go with it. That'll be kind of cool. Got three of these old leaded light windows. All right, so three of them. I know they're always popular. And the comics, got some more comics. Guy brought in a load of comics, so these are going to be good as well. We've got the old Marvel comics and DC and, you know, all the rest of them. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Wolverine, Dark Hawk. All right, some Pretty Bird there, Xena, Warrior Princess. All right, Spider-Man, Love Spider-Man, X-Men. All right, so good selection of them. Brought in as well some of these little action figurines, all right? Wetworks and Spawn and this sort of stuff. All right, whatever that's about, but, you know, so... All in the boxes, all new. All right, so I'm sure they'll be popular. We'll have some more general household items as well as usual. All right, nice little jewelry box at the back there. Um, I know there's a couple of shipbook ends and some Corel. All right, um, another set of China. Uh, okay, so that's all cool. Lists of all of this stuff and pictures on the website. So please make sure that you go on there. All right, try to get a description as much of it as all as possible. All right, so some corning wear with the lids on. That's always going to be popular. All right, so some really nice sets there. Some nice etched glasses. A little shark, all right? Ultra steam and blaster steam pocket. All right, so for steaming the floors and stuff like that. I bet that'll be useful. Nice little fountain. All right, it's got all the rocks and the bits that go with it. All right, but there's a little fountain there. So that'll be quite pretty in the house. It's got a little light that goes with it as well. Spice rack with all the spices in it. And some more... Oh, that already stuff, you know. Floor mate, over floor mate, vacuum or wet thing, whatever it does. Hard floor cleaner, apparently. Spin and scrub. All right. Linens, quite a few linens this week. A lot of them new, never been opened. All right, so new in the packaging there. Some of the old um, tea towels and other stuff as well we've got there. And then we've got the remainder of the Christmas items this week. So more of that. Um, Geezer, that was really expensive. Oh, we found another tree as well, you know. So that tree thing there that we got all the ornaments hanging on, we'll be selling that this week. And then we open up another box and there's another tree in it. All right, so another one of those gold trees. So we've got two of those gold trees. All right. Uh, what's his name? Charles Radko. That's the geezer. I can't remember. But that's the geezer. Seven and a half foot Virginia pine tree. All right, so that looks, uh, well, that's going to be nice because this geezer did like to spend his money on his Christmas stuff. All right, so some more of the ornaments that we kind of lotted up. All right, so a good selection of them. There was a nice Betty Boo over there in a fire department, one fireman. All right, I know there's a police officer, I think, in one of these lots of uh, ornaments over here. Um, you've got Peter Pan. Oh, look, there's a little Peter Pan collection there. That's kind of cool. It's a lot of Peter Pan. Never did grow up, you know, but what's growing up? Who wants to grow up? Not me. All right, listen, we've got a fryer. All right, a little Husky equipment fryer. So if you want to do chips, and they don't fridge fries, they're called chips, right? What you call chips are called crisps, right? You get all confused. Anyway, you want to do chips? Here's your fryer. Cook them in the fryer. Get me round. Egg and chips. Lovely jubbly. Happy days. Some industrial, commercial kind of kitchen cooking stuff. Um, some nice looking boots and stuff. All right. Some old nursery stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. All right. And Mr. John J. Dion. Okay. We've got some of his army stuff here, which is nice. All right. The old suitcase. Um, nice couple of tops there as well, a pair of trousers in there, I think the uniform. 
all right so that's kind of be kind of cool the army stuff's always popular all right and that military stuff so that's really cool we're still finishing off lotting up here um but we'll just give you a quick blitz robbie's gonna have some of his stuff out so you know i know you guys love this kind of antiquity sort of collectible stuff right you know so it's all uh really sort of unusual and weird stuff to me but robbie loves it and i know a lot of you guys love it all as well all this old looking things you know he loves his old looking things all right you know so anyway a bit more home decor all right these are kind of nice bit of false graft there the old big old leaves like cabbage leaves good old uh sheep sheepskin rug all right put that in front of the fire nice little decorative mirrors covered up a little bit but i do have a nice picture on light so make sure you have a look at that all right robbie's still sorting out the rest of his stuff little pussycat door stop all right the old crock pot as usual little uh jewelry cabinet nice little bowl there that's a nice little dish that one some international status stone crockery flatware you know that they're not flatware crockery um some glassware that's a nice bowl as well that's signed waterford i think that one is so that's a really nice bowl all right so a few more pieces going on here just give you a little general idea of everything. I know you, Mrs. always tells me off. She says, you always skip past all the home decor and you just go home decor, home decor, home decor, home decor. And she's like, I want to look at it all. And I'm like, yeah, but it's just like stuff, isn't it? You know, I'm like, anyway, you want to look at it? You can look at it. Look, there's toys here. Look, you look at that as well. All right, there's, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this, look at this, look at two of these, all right? So, how much is a coffin? It costs a lot of money, right? You, you'd be coughing up a lot of money to get a coffin, right? cost you a fortune this thing here right it's good for the environment it's a biodegradable urn right how's about that an urn right so just pop them in the old um cooker thing you know when they burn them you know get all the ashes out chuck the ashes inside there it comes with a bit of glue right glue the top on it right then you take it out on a boat they say don't do it near the shore in case it doesn't float away right so apparently you get on a boat chuck the ashes in there right take them out on a boat pop it down, take a little video like I do, you know, as they drift off to sea, and then it just disintegrates into the water, all right, and they're done, all right, you're done, saves you thousands of dollars, thousands, right, no need for a coffin, just chuck them in there, put them out to sea, happy days, all right, what have we got, we've got an old antique bed, all right, headboard, footboard, nice crazy little uh, antique bed there, it's old metal, it's quite heavy, we've got a nice big old chandelier thing, all right, I put some of the old, um, lampshades on but we do have the rest of the lampshades in a bag there i just didn't want to ever bought it so i had to take all the lampshades off again so i just put some on we've got another sheepskin rug hanging up over here all right sheepskin rug nice vintage quilt there's another quilt on the other side as well all right a little charcoal grill so if you want to get a little charcoal grill that'll be cool all right now listen i mentioned earlier we're going to do things at a different time so i've got a little section in the middle now where i've put man stuff really you know I know some of you ladies like it as well, but you know, not for me, because like, I had to move this tire earlier, right? It's an anti-puncture tire, apparently, right? It's brand new, it's got all the markings on it and that. $300 worth, apparently. It's a good good year, a good year even. Durable, puncture-resistant technology, right? Okay, I moved it, I lifted it up, raised a ton. I got my hands filthy dirty. Oh my God, did I freak out. I had to go and wash my hands. I was like, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Don't like all that dirty stuff. I wouldn't touch these, these are golf. Car, golf cart tires right with the old rims on them the wheels on them all right so some of that this looks like quite a big air compressor but let me tell you oh, i've got the mac daddy this is like a little baby one compared to the one that we got coming around all right tools are mostly sort of lotted up all right so a few of the tools all right different electrical socket covers and things like that in here all right so the tools i think i said we're probably going to get to these around about seven o'clock or seven thirty or something but have a look on the website because like i say we're gonna what we're gonna do is a little bit different try and give you a guideline on to when certain things are going to be auctioned so as i say if you don't want to turn up at five o'clock and have to wait two hours to bid on some tools if it's only the tools that you're interested in you know so we like to see you and come and spend some time with us but i don't want you all getting bored and fed up and everything you know listening to me rabbit on and blow, going through all my stuff that i do all right look at these lots, tons of sockets in here tons of sockets the guy's given us some of these battery powered um you know handheld tools and stuff all right and a hand saw or whatever it is the saws and stuff like that you know i am with these tools but he did tell us all right and we always like to say what we're told he said most of these batteries i don't think are any good anymore 
All right, so it looks like you're gonna to have to find some cheap batteries to replace the batteries that are in there. All right, so please be aware that all these handheld ones might need some new batteries in. Now this thing here, he said, Sean, you've got to be really careful. It's a Remington low velocity powder actuated tool, right? He said, it's like a gun. He said, if I was to put the thing in here and point it at you, I'd be like shooting you because it's like as powerful as a gun. He said, so be really careful. We've got some saw horses, right? Shop vac, little shop vac there, little uh, six gallon one. And then big old 16 gallon beast down here. This is rather cool, that's a great one. All right, before, yeah, let's have a look at this, right? So five and a half horsepower, 30 gallon, right? Air compressor, all right? So big old Mac Daddy air compressor. Don't really know what you do with it. You might blow up great big things or something like that, but be careful you don't blow up yourself because it's like huge, right? And it's really like powerful by the looks of it. All right, Craftsman. This is nice, top and bottom, got the keys of it as well. All right, so the old tool chest, top and bottom with the keys, so that's always gonna be popular. Everybody loves those things there. All right, mum's just come in, hello mum. Hello. All right, so couple of sets of china. China's gotta go out of here. What's this one, this is Cotillion. All right, so probably service for 12 in that lot. All right, and then we got some Bound Brothers. All right, so that stuff's gotta get out of here as well. All right, so have a look at the website as I keep saying. All right, because we're gonna do jewelry, costume jewelry. We've got a ton of artwork. Let me give you a quick run over there. I forgot the artwork. Before I come up to the furniture, I'll bring you up to the furniture in a second. All right, so once we've done this main hall, all right, we've got a ton of artwork and home decor kind of looking stuff right behind here. All right, once we've cleared off all of these tables for the main auction, all right, we're gonna put this out on the tables as we sell it all off. All right, and then as soon as we finish the main auction, we're going to run through as quick as we can and get rid of all the artwork and home decor stuff. All right, so there's tons of it there before we move on to the costume jewelry. All right, and then the tools. And then we'll come over and I'll just show you the bits of furniture we got this week. We've got a couple of houses we're picking up next week, so we'll have a ton of more furniture. There's a nice, really nice baker's rack here with the glass shelves. So that's pretty cool. All right, um, an old lounger there and a couple of little loungers with it. A nice little patio set with the umbrella. All right, so that looks rather cool. Usual sort of plastic chairs. Everybody likes those plastic chairs. A couple of desks. All right, so if you need a computer desk, know somebody who needs a computer desk, that'll work. All right, nice little double drop leaf table. That's gonna be popular. This armoire is really nice, really solid. You know, not like some of this stuff you get these days you know, with the old press board. Really nice armoire. All right, got a couple of shelving units in there. Need a display? This is great. Leaded light there, all right? It's been hanging around the store for a while, but we're gonna get rid of it this week. All right, so gonna be really cool for the display there with that one. Couple of sofas this week, a nice large red sofa. All right, so and a few sort of end table pieces. All right, nice little oversized chair there. Um, and a brand, large brand sofa. All right, so, and there's the other desk there with that desk. And what's got to go this week as well is that nice Karastan rug, right? Brought it back here. All right, so it's 12 foot by eight foot eight, eight foot eight even, right? Wall rug, Karastan, made in the USA, so you know it's quality. Probably worth about 1,500 bucks. All right, love to see that, but maybe we won't. All right, so Tuesday, 22nd of September, four o'clock preview, five o'clock start, have a look on the website, see when we're gonna try and do different things at different times. All right, so the furniture will be right at the end. So if you're just interested in the furniture, go and have some dinner, finish work, come down, buy it afterwards. All right, you know where we are, 400 East Gulf Atlantic Highway in Wildwood. All right, State Road 44 basically, junction of 301. All right, so very close. We're next door to Wildwood Tire in that red building. Signs will be out. Four o'clock preview, five o'clock start, all right, bring your money, spend it.